guys welcome back to the channel runaway here <laughs> and uh let's go ahead and get this thing started i'm gonna be talking to you about how i actually shoot my fashion runway videos i'm a commercial swimwear photographer here based in miami so uh anytime i'm getting booked for these shows it's usually for uh, swimwear and i've shot a lot of swim week stuff and that's one of the main questions that i get is how do i shoot it how do i get inside the venues what are my camera settings we're going to talk about all that today and so i'm super excited because i haven't really seen an updated video on this information so i'm really excited to you know give you guys the sauce just put it out there lay it out there and, and hopefully help somebody out there i feel like this information could definitely help and bring a lot of value to you guys so let's go ahead and get started and so for the first thing is going to be a monopod a monopod is very important I definitely remember shooting some of my very first uh, runway shows. I was a rookie and I'm pretty sure if you didn't get help from somebody else that was at a show, some of you out there probably made the same mistake and you brought a tripod. <laughs> so the thing with a tripod is, is you're taking up too much real estate because when you come into these shows, it's very crowded. If you want, you can throw it under here. Okay. But right there. The perfect, over. perfect. That chair's gotta go. You don't really have much room to navigate. And so that is one of the main things you'll need is a monopod. And after that, you're gonna need the camera. And so the camera that I shoot on is what I'm filming with now is the A7S III. Oh! That is my go-to camera for video, especially because of the, the low light is just absolutely amazing. I absolutely love that camera and um, it's my go-to. And so that's what I use for 95% of my swim week videos because uh, my last one I shot uh, at the end of last year for Art Basel, I used the R5C, but that's a little bit a more complicated setup. And then like the batteries don't last long. So any moving forward, I'm definitely gonna be using my, my Sony A7S III. Uh, what else we got? The lens. I've seen some people come to a show with a, set, uh, a 24 to 70, uh, 2.8, and that's good. But I like to use a 70 to 200 because as I'm filming, I like to zoom in when the model's approaching the stage and getting closer towards the catwalk. And so when they're having on a two piece or a one piece item of clothing, I like to zoom in and get that nice crop and that nice zoom in when you do that. So. I would definitely recommend getting a 7200. Depending on your filming style and, and what you want to do with it, you could you could use a 24 to 70, but it also depends on where you're at. So I highly recommend getting a 20. Um, I'm sorry, a 7200, 2.8. Uh, if you only have an f4, that's fine, but it just really depends on how well the venue is being lit. But uh, I use a 2.8, and actually, shout out to Borrow Lenses. This is not sponsored, but I usually rent my gear, especially if I have a big gig. Um, I still haven't purchased a 7200 yet because it's just something that I don't shoot that much. So that's a pro tip right there. If you have an event coming up, if you're getting booked for one of these fashion shows, uh, reach out to one of your local rental hubs and uh, take advantage of renting because you can just save a lot of money. Usually shows are like one to three days max. You can just get the job done and then send it back in. So, um, so yeah, I hope that helps. And so next is going to be a laptop when i'm shooting these shows i like to back things up if i have time right after the show's over you know depending on how many uh designers are coming out it may be towards the last uh stretch of that and so i'll back everything up just to make sure uh, I, you know sometimes if i get a quick uh edit in as well I'll do that as well too, but make sure you have your laptop on you so you can back things up and use SSDs because that's going to be a lot faster for the data transfer when you're using these more professional cameras, 4K and uh, these high data rates, you definitely want to have an SSD so you get that you can back these things up fast and then get on to the next show. Um, and then tapes and then markers. And so as we'll talk further in this video, you want to have your tape and then you want to mark your section so you can have 
uh, your section saved for you because a lot of times um, if you do not have your section marked and you have to use the bathroom or if you want to reserve your spot for the next day if you don't have tape um, you are not going to be able to reserve your spot so that's the first half gear i just uh, listed everything everything will be in the description and so let's go ahead and get into the next topic all right so scouting spots right so you're at the venue and so the next thing you want to do after you find your poc you have to get your credentials if i have a show that starts at seven i'm going to get there minimum two hours earlier that way i can just i like to be able to set up get my settings right and we'll talk about the settings as well later and just get comfortable understand the lighting understand you know who's going to be there but just more importantly getting my spot and then also when i'm there i can meet other people that's there i can you know network talk you know don't be afraid to ask questions uh video photographers yes can i get your information sure yeah yeah, 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 before the show starts. Yeah, <laughs> your Instagram or whatever. Yeah, so, so, so. What, who are you walking for? Um, Maria Zapata. Okay. What is it? Ferdinando and Tango. So three of them. Nice. The only one I'm not doing is Tony. Okay. Nice meeting you. Thank you. You know, when I, a lot of my shows, you know, some photographers and videographers will come to me and ask me what white balance I have set, and it's okay to help out. W what good if we can't help people? Like, no one's too good to help people, you know what I mean? Like, and so I always go out of my way. If you ever see me at a show, I'm always willing to help. If you have any questions, let me know. But usually it's like the shutter speed and white balance, which are the biggest questions. And then, you know, everybody has their preference on f-stop. But moral of the story is be kind, you don't want to burn any bridges. You never know who you're talking to and you never know, you know, if it's a designer or somebody that's plugged in, somebody that works for the house. And so you don't want to ruin that relationship. So now let's talk about camera settings. Now, I like to shoot everything at 60 FPS, 60 frames per second. And then I like to have my shutter exactly at the 180 degree shutter shutter rule. And so I'll have that a one over 25. And it just really depends how much light is in the venue. I know the, sh the last one week show I shot in t last year, I mean, my ISO was at 100. It was absolutely amazing. And there, some of my other buddies shot at another venue and their ISO is at like 800 because the lighting was so bad. Typically it's uh, 60 frames per second. You know, I don't need 120 because the models aren't walking that fast and I like to slow it down. So I like to shoot at 60 frames per second, one over 25. And just my ISO just depends on how bright or dark the venue is. And like I said, um, I'll have the settings up on the screen. Now, how I shoot at the show, uh, this is just something, this is my creative style. When I'm shooting, I like to, you know, it, it, I like to zoom in when the model comes closer to, to the platform. And then when she uh, walks away, I zoom out. If she's wearing full body clothing, I won't zoom in at all. I'll just follow her up and down. And um, it takes a little while to get your groove. You know, some of the veterans understand how to move. But the, the, the cool thing is, is that because you've gotten to the venue early, usually what happens is they do a test run with all the models. And so then you'll be able to test and get your shot and get your exposure settings right. And you'll really be able to get like a groove and then it should, it should be good. But when the lights turn on, I'm not gonna lie to you, like every now and then I'm like, ah, like it's in the moment, everybody's coming out. And you know, like if you make any jerk or crazy movements, you know, it's gonna come up on your video. So even me after doing this for so long, I still get a little bit of jitters, but that's why getting there early um, will help you establish your shots, how you want to set up your monopod, the smoothness, the stiffness of the monopod, and then you can just go ahead and go forward and you'll be ready to go once uh, the show's ready to get started. Last but not least, right? So if you're a beginner photographer and you're trying to get inside these venues, what you want to do is email these brands i will go uh social media i will go on instagram i will go on twitter i even go on uh and TikTok as well like i i will find out who is the designer i'll go on linkedin and i'm emailing and dming and, and, and uh, DM messaging all these brands, asking them if they need extra footage. That's how I did it in the beginning when I didn't have any brands. And then now I have brands and I've created relationships. And so now, you know, they come to me. But 
in the beginning, you're gonna have to reach out. I would highly recommend maybe practicing, shooting some videos. If you're not at the beach, just maybe even some cinematic walks and so that the clients can see that. And so that's how I will go about doing that. And then um, that's pretty much it, man. I just wanted to give you guys like a quick rundown on how I shoot these videos. Um, if you have any questions, make sure you leave them down. And uh, cause I really wanna uh, help as much people as I can in this video. And, and help you guys get a chance to shoot at Swim Week and Fashion Week. You know, I think it's a really good experience for everyone to have, and it can really build your portfolio depending on which direction you want to go with your craft. So like I said, if you have any questions, leave them down at the bottom. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Yeah.